We're not giving up. Loved ones of an Easley man killed almost 20 years ago still pushing for answers. Brian Nick Moore was shot to death in 2004. His body fell in the woods in Anderson County days after he disappeared from his home in Easley. Fox Carolina's Brooklyn Cromer spoke with Nick's close friend and the Anderson County Sheriff's Office about why they're not giving up. With new eyes on this case, the lead investigator here at the Anderson County Sheriff's Office says they're closer than ever to finding out who killed Nick Moore. It's just been a long road. I mean, 19 years is a long time. From road trips to antique sales, to talking about cars and searching for their next big find. Barry Crawford will never forget the good times spent with his best friend, Brian Nick Moore. Nick Moore was the original picker. You hear about all these guys collecting now, here and there. Nick was way before American Pickers or anything you see on TV. He knew the value and what it meant to save the history of all this stuff. In early March 2004, time stopped for those who knew and loved Nick. I knew immediately when they told me he didn't pick his boys up from school that day. I knew immediately something bad was wrong because he was always right there to get them boys. They was priority in his life. Sergeant Kendall Cash with the Anderson County Sheriff's Office says friends reported Nick missing a few days later. The friends came back to the residence. They hadn't heard from Nick in a while and noticed that they couldn't get anybody to the door. He wouldn't answer his phone. As the days passed, loved ones grew more and more anxious. We had an agonizing eight days. Then worry turned to pain. After eight days missing, Moore's body was discovered 12 miles from his house in the woods off Massey Road in Anderson County. Somebody took him from his home in Easley and took him down to Anderson County and shot my friend two times and left him there to die. While no one has ever been arrested, investigators believe Nick knew the person or persons who killed him. I do think they knew him. I, I can't tell you as far as how intimately they would have been maybe associates, maybe acquaintances. Nick's friend thinks his profitable dealings with antiques could have led to his tragic fate. There was probably a handful of people that knew that Nick kept a significant amount of cash in the house. Money can always be a motive in a case like this. 19 years later, investigators are getting closer. We have narrowed that suspect list down to two persons of interest. Hoping new technology will help them unearth new clues. Part of it is blood evidence that was collected on scene. Um, at this point in time, I, I don't know who that belongs to. Um, part of it was other pieces of evidence that would have come into contact with a human person that can be resent to be tested again. Nick's best friend says he chooses to remember the good times and his last memory of Nick is still frozen in time. And I just remember him pulling out of my parking lot and he just looked back and smiled at me and just nailed that gas and just lit them tires up going up the highway. And just, I remember him smiling, looking over his shoulders at me. That's the last memory I got of him. With recent advancements in forensic technology, the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division is retesting evidence found at the crime scene. In Anderson County, Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina News.